Hi, we're back on this, so let's do a full wash day with me. I'm going to start by unbraiding these four braids I've had in my head for a week. While I'm doing that, please like, comment, what is it, share and subscribe. Um, yes. The format of this might look a little weird, because this was originally recorded for TikTok. So what I'm going to try to do is record TikToks and my YouTube videos simultaneously. So that, you know, it's just two birds, one stone, and then... My plan is for the YouTube to be like the full version of the of the TikToks since those are, you know, short content and people have lost some um, attention spans. But I like long form content, so I'm still on YouTube, watching YouTubes, I should say. All right, and the hair is done. So now I just parted it from the pink to my natural brown color because we are going to be re-dyeing and dyeing it. So just putting on my cape here to protect, which didn't really protect anything because I move and groove. And adding my pink gloves, of course. So before I dye my hair, I've been using the K18 prep and peptide things um, this brand just gets your hair really clean and detoxes it from any minerals hard water damage any type of damage to make sure what you're about to do to your hair any styling really penetrates um, and does what it's supposed to do so I'm just doing that and what I've noticed with this product is it removes like a little bit of color or the brass of whatever color is left over but after you use their products, you need to wait four minutes for them to do their magic in your hair before you start your next step. So that's what that standing still was there. And this is the second part of the prep. It's just in a different bottle because the bottle I got was faulty. But as you can see from the left to the right side, it looks duller and less pink. After another four minutes were up, we are going to dye the back of the hair. So that is what the color concoction is. All of the products I use will be listed down below in the description bottle. But I just mix that all up in my bowl and applying that to my hair. These colors are semi-permanent, so I don't need any developer or anything like that. And they will wash out a little bit after every wash. As you can see, I have foil sheets and I have one already on another section. I'm about to put one onto another section. They weren't really staying how I wanted them to. The foil sheets just don't work out for me. So they will come off, but I put them back on to just keep the pink hair separate from the new color that I will be doing. And you'll see that when we get to that part.
it so I'm just about finished with the pink I'm going to section it off into two sections and just clip them away to keep them separate from the top and then I'm gonna go ahead with those same two K18 sprays as I did in the beginning do the first one wait four minutes do the second one wait another four minutes and then we are going to start dyeing the top part my hopes for this was like a ready well more purple red it's a little bit more red than I wanted but I think it still looks good didn't really know what the color was gonna be so that's that but both colors are from Wella y'all that these colors do need to be mixed with developer their permanent hair colors and I don't know if it was the color itself or if it was the mixture with the developer if it had ammonia in it or what but they did not smell good the smell was very strong I was sticking my head outside of the bathroom to get some fresh air but I just put this all on the lengths of my hair avoiding the roots I did all I split the top section into four sections so I did all four sections just the lengths of my hair waited about 10 minutes and then went back in and um, got all of my roots as well including the roots to the back of my head where the pink hair is and then I believe I waited about another 15 minutes To rinse everything out, we are going to shampoo with all three of these. The pattern is a clarifying shampoo, the middle one by Biolage, that one's really good for scalp care, dandruff, any itchiness, and I like the Amica one just for some added hydration, just because I'm not going to be deep conditioning, I'm going to be following up with a K18 treatment as well. So just going in and really massaging each shampoo, which means I shampoo three different times, rinsing each of them out. But I like to leave the scalp one on for maybe about a minute just to let it sink in. Not really sure if that does anything though. Once that's all rinsed out, I put my hair into this microfiber um, turban towel for a little bit just to get it towel dry, um, not dry dry. Um, so this is what the color is looking like at first, still trying to fill out you know, the top part. But as I said, I'm going to be doing a K18, um, their leave-in molecular hair mask or whatever it's called. So just sectioning off into those same sections I had before. And we're going to add about a pump to each section and just work that in and you leave that on for four minutes as well before you go ahead and continue with your styling. For styling, my preference is always a wash and go. 
so we are going to start by um, respraying our hair a little bit and getting it a little bit more damp with some water and then I'm going to apply my two leave-ins which is the Pureology Color Fanatic and the Curl Smith's um, conditioning oil and cream I just like to use two because like I said I didn't deep condition my hair so I just want to make sure there's a lot of moisture in there for throughout the week because I do not refresh my hair once it's done it stays in a ponytail until the next wash day I do this um, for all four sections I think I have four sections all four sections in my hair um, so that the leave-in has its own time to marinate in my hair before I go in with my um, two styling products. I'm going to be using two gels. The first one is Uncle Funky's Curl Stimulator Gel. And once I've worked that through my hair, I'm going to add the Innocence I Create Hold Gel on top. These are two mechanical gels. Um, and so the ingredients are really good for your hair, um, especially Uncle Funky's. That one has a lot of slip, which is why I like to go in with that first and putting the inner sense on top to really hold everything in the definition this gives is really good and the combination does last all week even throughout gym sessions
right wash and go is almost done well is done and so i just like to put these clips here to keep my hair out of my face while it dries and it gives it some um structure this part here in the back needs a little bit more help i had double bleached this part initially when i first dyed my hair pink so she needs some tender love to get the extra curl but that is what the back is looking like um and my hair is still wet i like to sit under a hooded dryer to get my hair dry uh, but that is all for this video thank you for watching and see you in the next one